Okay, so let's look at processing the a big point cloud file, an LAS file produced from Agisoft PhotoScan using structure for motion of a lot of balloon-based photography of the SP crater cone in northern Arizona. So what I've done is I've gone to the LAS Tools website and downloaded the LAS Tools software suite and uncompressed it put it in this folder, and then in the bin folder, I've put the LAS file. In here is also all of the uh, LAS tools. In this case, each one is a little .exe file. So our way to access these tools is through the LAS tool, which is a little GUI. So we can double click on that file. First thing we'll do is do uh, LAS info. This will just give us some information about the file. Data set, the main thing I wanted to see is it has 111 million points. Load our file name. So the next thing I want to do is do a, I want to tile these data. But I want to do a tiling the 100 meter tiles. And we'll just have a small buffer, like a two meter buffer around each one so that we don't get any seams. So we'll run this. So here's our command line. It's just going to take that thing and spit them out as LAS files, but each one will have a tile as a prefix as well as the lower left coordinates. Let's run it. And so over here, we'll see them. And what you can see is that it opens all the files first, and then it will uh, fill them once it has blown through the main parent LAS file. Okay, so now our LAS files are produced, the tiles. So the next thing I want to do, I'll close that, and I'm going to go to LAS2DEM. We'll make a one meter DEM, keep the triangle less than 100 meters. It's going to be an ARCASCII grid output. So here, the main thing we have to adjust is just to call it this tile star. So it does everything that begins with tile. Let's run it. Now this takes a little while, but you can see it goes through them all and in sequence and is able to do each 102 meter tile uh, pretty quickly. Okay, they're done. We made a bunch of files that actually took about five minutes or so. So now what I'll do is if you have Global Mapper, this is the fastest way to look at those ASC files. Open uh, them up, shift select all of them. Two times on 12, we'll just load them all in play. Okay, so there's our hill shaded DEM of SP Creator. Have some real kind of ugly problems on the north side because of uh, you know, really poor photo coverage. You can also see the 10 artifacts here in these gaps. It's kind of an ugly DEM in places, but in places it's not bad. Uh, zoom to the full view. Let's try a 3D view of it. Okay, so here, actually not too bad. And there's a lot of noise in the model. Looks like the south part of the model is pretty good. But this northern part's got some problems, including these artifacts up here at the top that come from the really challenged SFM. So not, not too bad. We can export that complete DEM mosaic while we're here. Mark grid. 
one meter. So this will be SP one M DEM. Okay, so let's unload everything out of Global Mapper. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go back to last tool, and one thing I want to try to do is to thin our tiles. And so the idea here would be to maybe every 25 centimeters, just in each 25 centimeters, keep the lowest point, and that might give us a little filtering. So we'll run it, maybe tile star, and then um, these will be LAZ files, so they'll be compressed. We'll be able to see, uh, identify them as being separate from the existing LAS tiles. Here we can see them coming in. Okay, so now we got a bunch of LAZ files that are just thinned and minimize lower elevation cleanup on that point cloud might help us. So let's go back to the last to dem grid size one meter. Let's run it. But now we're going to do uh, tile star dot l a z. That should help us. Go over and check how they look. They're coming out basically with that underscore one after them. So not very creative naming convention, but we can pick them out. Okay, that ran a little faster because the, the LAZ files were a little bit smaller. So now let's go back to Global Mapper and we'll open them. Easiest thing is going to be due by date modified. So we can do some of the last things we made. Same as last time. Okay, so I don't know if it looks any better. Maybe it's a little cleaner. So obviously one could play around with that approach. <clears throat> There's a lot of different things we could do. Let's um, try the 3D again. Still have a lot of noise on that that uh, northern flank. So <clears throat> it's not a lot to do with that here. We could just keep experimenting. <clears throat> the other thing would be to go into it's something like cloud compare and try to cut those points out to clean up the point cloud. Also, can do a mask in RTIS, for example, and Get rid of this lovely part of the DEM. So a few options to basically help us. And you can see this kind of uh, ecosystem of software that we use to um, build these DEMs and analyze the shapes of the volcanoes.